Hello, I'm Rabbi Elton from the Great Synagogue in Sydney, and our personality today is Rabbi Avram Yitzchak Cohen Cook, born in 1865 and dies in 1935. Rav Cook was one of those personalities it seems almost impossible to classify. He was a rabbi, he was a mystic, he was a leader, he was a visionary, he was a kind of Zionist, although of no uh, clear definition. He was an extraordinary intellectual and also charismatic figure who's had an enormous impact on religious Zionism ever since his life. He was born in Latvia in 1865 and was known as an Ilui, which means a Talmudical genius even while he was still a child. He went to the Velozhin Yeshiva, the leading European Yeshiva, at the age of 18, and there he became close to the Natsiv, Rabbi Naftali Tzvi Yehuda Berlin, who was the head of the Yeshiva at that time. His first rabbinical post was indeed in Eastern Europe, but then he turned his eyes to the land of Israel and became Chief Rabbi of Jaffa in 1904. As I said, he was not a clear-cut Zionist in the Herzlian or Jabotinsky or even a Chada Am sense, but he was definitely deeply attuned to the concept of the return to Zion and was very sympathetic to those who were engaged in that pursuit. He was an active and very involved leader of the Jaffa Jewish community and was known in particular for his sympathetic attitude towards secular settlers. Whereas other Orthodox leaders would look askance at them, he saw that their role was very important in building up the land and making it into a place where all Jews could gather and recreate Jewish religious life and Jewish culture. He was on a trip to Europe in 1914 to attend a rabbinical convention when he was trapped by the outbreak of the First World War. He eventually found refuge in London and there he became the rabbi of Marsika Das, which was the leading European immigrant congregation in the east end of London. He then had a very interesting relationship with Chief Rabbi Hertz. They were from very different backgrounds and very different orientations, so they're both Zionists and both Orthodox, of course, uh, but very different styles. Hertz, very much uh, a man of affairs, and, uh, and Rav Cook, this great mystic, this great uh, visionary. They clashed on a number of issues. For example, Rabbi Hertz thought that all Jewish men should serve in the armed forces if they were eligible or conscripted. Rav Cook wanted an exemption for all Kohanim, all priests, because they can't come into contact with a dead body. And yet, despite these clashes, Rabbi Hertz held Rav Cook in the very highest respect and, in fact, uh, would only allow uh, certain halachic changes, certain Jewish legal changes to take place once Rav Cook had given his approval. There's a beautiful story about Rav Cook's time in London that he visited the National Gallery and he saw a painting by Rembrandt, who was known, of course, for his uh, masterful use of light. And Rav Cook quoted a verse, Or Zeru al tzaddik, light is sown for the righteous. And he quoted the rabbinic teaching that the first light created on the first day of creation uh, was not the light we see today caused by the sun, but was a special supernal light, which was put away for only the righteous to see. He said this is the light that Rembrandt captured in his paintings. After the end of the First World War, Rav Cook went back to the land of Israel. He became the chief rabbi of Jerusalem in 1919 and the chief rabbi of the whole of the land of Israel for the Ashkenazim in 1921. He was uh, deeply criticized by the anti-Zionist Orthodox presence in the land of Israel, uh, but he persisted in his view. He was not entirely happy with the establishment of a secular university like the Hebrew University and yet still attended its opening and spoke there, giving a speech for I think very few of those who were present from the more uh, academic and secular end of the community really understood. He wrote several works of philosophy and theology. Some were intended only to be his own private musings. They were later published as a series called Orot, Lights, which are very dense and very difficult to study, but are very popular still in the world of uh, religious Zionism. And I think his reputation is also spreading uh, further even than that. He died in 1935 and had changed the very nature of the religious Zionist community and is still regarded as its most important leader of the 20th century. I will close by quoting one of Rav Cook's most famous and most beautiful sayings. He said, the righteous do not complain about the darkness, instead they increase the light. Thanks for joining.